So first of all, if empty URL, I'm going to echo out um, error not. Oh no, sorry, error. Yeah, we could say or no or not not URL. No URL would sound better. Um, if the URL is invalid, so if we are not typing a valid URL, we're going to echo out error invalid URL. Um, if 1 equals 2, which is eventually going to be our um, function is min, which is going to already check if it's a um, if it's a um, shortened URL, we're going to echo out error is min. And we're going to pick up on these, like I said, in index.php. Otherwise, if all of these checks um, are passed and otherwise echo URL. So we can test this out in here, but first of all, we actually need to pass through the validation. So what we do here is we um, create some more if statements to check the uh, URL and the things that have been passed. So we say if data equals equals error no URL do something else if data is equal to um, error invalid URL else if data is equal to error is min and then else we actually want to display the shortened URL that we're going to be passing through um, url.php so if there is no URL present what we actually want to do is we want to say dollar and then in brackets hash message dot HTML and then here we're going to put our error message so I'm going to surround this in paragraph tags and I'm going to say invalid URL okay oh sorry no that's the no URL so um, no URL specified okay so I'm changing it around a bit from the initial example uh, but as long as we're outputting error messages everything's fine so now we say hash message dot HTML this is for the invalid URL so again in paragraph tags um, not a valid URL simple um, if it is already a um, shortened URL, we want to say dollar oh, hash message dot HTML. Again, in paragraph tags, already a min dot bz URL. Okay, so we've created our error set. Otherwise, what we want to simply do is we want to. Um, set a value to our actual field so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hash URL dot val data okay so what's going to happen is URL PHP is going to echo out the URL which will eventually be shorten and um, it's going to pass it back to index.php and just put it back into this field here like you saw in the example, we just process it and then put, pop it back into the field ready for the user to select, and that's the shortened URL. Uh, then we want to um, dollar, dollar sign hash URL dot select. That's going to highlight the whole field ready for them to copy and paste. And then we say hash message, which is our message div dot HTML. And then again in paragraph tags, we want to say um, successfully shortened your URL. Shortened. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, so successfully shortened your URL. Um, 
again let me just loop over it we are sending the URL to URL.php we're echoing these specific error messages which are then going to be picked up by data equals the error message that we've put back then we are doing this here so we're doing it all on the same page we're not refreshing nothing 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 so this might seem like a bit of a complicated way to go around things but in short it's going to make it a lot easier for your users and that's the most important thing so let's go ahead and upload this and test it out so what should happen at the moment is we are going to check for either not a URL so no URL entered if I was to just click shorten now we're then checking for a valid URL. We're not actually at the moment checking for the, um, if it's already a um, uh, min.bz URL because we haven't touched on the functions yet. But let's go ahead and test this out. So enter, no URL specified, that's working. Everything's done in that respect. Now let's type in a load of rubbish and press enter, not a valid URL. Again, we are successfully checking. If we're to type a valid URL, let's type google.co.uk, you can see that when we press shorten or press enter, we say successfully shortened URL, we're re-echoing back out or we're re-putting the URL that we passed through here into URL. So we're taking the data that's passed, which at the moment, considering all these have passed, is just echoing out URL. We're putting it into our URL field and we're selecting it and we're giving this message. So the only thing that we're missing at the moment is actually shortening the URL, obviously, which is the most important bit. But for now, we've created the validation, which is equally as important as the overall effect of the website. So we've done that. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the um, is min function, which is again important because we are checking here if um, it's already a min.bz URL, which is important because we don't want to reshorten a shortened URL. So I'm going to say is underscore min URL. So it's checking, it's using this function and saying if uh, the URL that we've specified and posted through jQuery is already a shortened URL, echo out error is min and then we're picking up on that error is min and then we're putting that into the message div so we need to do a few things here the first thing we need to do is come up here and include our func.inc.php file which is going to include all the functions that we're using throughout this process now we're just going to create this is min function so let's go ahead and say function is min um, it's obviously going to take a parameter which is URL because we actually need to um, process um, the URL. We need to pass a URL to actually check um, if it's already um, a or looks like a um, min.bz URL. And we are using the preg match function to uh, perform a regular expression check on this, um, on this variable. So let's go ahead and is min URL. We're passing the uh, URL back to this. Um, and then we are checking. So what we want to do is we want to return. And in here, we're going to put a condition. So we're going to check uh, using the preg match function. If, we re if the preg match function finds out that it is already a URL, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So in here is our condition. So our condition is going to be preg match. It's going to take two parameters. Um, and the first one is the um, regular expression. And then we have the URL. So we're passing this and we're checking it against this pattern. So the pattern is um, we're including um, the start and the end and we're making it case insensitive at the end. And then we are saying min.bz, okay, in the middle of that. Now we have a one problem here, is that if we are checking this, the dot is now included, so we need to actually escape that dot, okay? So we're essentially checking um, if min.bz is within the URL that has been typed, which is there, we've passed it through. If it is, if it matches this pattern, we are returning true otherwise we're returning false so in url if this is equal to true i.e if um, our return function is true then we echo out this message so let's upload that and give that a check 
Yes. Yes. Um, and let's go ahead and try and press enter first of all. No URL specified. Not a valid URL. Now let's go ahead and type in min.bz forward slash. Okay. Enter already a min.bz URL. So we can even type just min.bz. That will automatically return no, not a valid URL. If we were even trying to shorten min.bz itself, we already say already a min.bz URL.